Genesis chapter 1, In the Beginning, by Charlotte Gwenther. In the beginning there was no earth, no sky, no sea, or animals. And then God spoke in the darkness, Let there be light! And right away there was light, scattering the darkness and showing the infinite space. That's good, said God. From now on, when it's dark, it will be night. And when it's light, it will be day. The evening came, and the night passed, and the light returned. And that was the first day. On the second day, God made the earth, and over it he carefully hung a vast blue sky. He stood back and admired his creation. This is good, too. So God said that, and that was the second day. The next morning, God looked around and thought, the earth needs to be more organized. So he put all the water in one place and all the dry land in another. When he had finished that, God made plants to cover the land. Dandelions and daffodils appeared. All sorts of trees and grasses began to grow. It looks great said God, and that was the end of the third day. On the fourth day, God looked around and thought, the daylight still needs a bit more work, and the night is just too dark. So he made the sun to light the sky during the day, and the moon and stars to add a bit of sparkle to the night. He hung them in the sky and stepped back to look at his work. This is coming along so well, God said. The next day, God turned his attention to the water he had collected in the oceans. I want these waters teeming with life. As soon as he said it, it was so, and in no time, there were millions of small fish darting through the shallow waters and huge fishes swimming in the ocean. God made birds, too. He sent them soaring through the air. Ah, this is good, said God. The dusk fell over the water, and the sky grew dark, and that was the end of the fifth day. On the sixth day, God added creatures to the land. He made lions and tigers and bears. He made rabbits and sheep and cows and added everything from ants to zebras to the land. But he still felt something was missing. And so God added mankind to enjoy and take care of all that he had created. God looked around and was happy with all he had made. After these six days, the whole universe was completed. And on the seventh day, God had a nice long rest and enjoyed looking at all he had made.